Next, we're going to look at uh, the modified Thomas test. And in this one test, you can isolate the iliopsoas. You can also look at tightness of the rectus femoris, the TFL and the IT band, and also the adductors. Patient holds onto the right knee, slowly lowers back until they touch the, the pillow. From this position, what we can do is the knee and hip needs to be fully flexed like this. And what that does, it allows the lower back to flatten and it gives you a true indicative test. If the knee is slightly above the level of the hip and there is an obvious gap, it would indicate an iliopsoas contracture. If the knee is like this, as in parallel, and the lower leg is extended, then that would indicate a tight rectus femoris. Relax. If I supported her foot and I took the leg out and it didn't go into 25 degrees of abduction, then it would indicate that the short adductors would be held in a tight position. And also, if I cannot ab, sorry, if I cannot adduct the leg, then it means that the TFL an IT band might be holding the patient in that restricted position. Just one thing on this test. If a leg is held like this, then I naturally teach that it is the iliopsoas that is tight. However, if I was to abduct and the leg drop down, then it might actually be TFL that's causing the hip to appear to be flexed. Because if the psoas is tight, it will stay high in this position and also this position. When you are looking at the lower leg, if a lower leg looks like it is externally rotated, as it can, or sometimes it can look internally rotated, then it might well be that the internal rotator, maybe TFL or adductus, is holding. If a lower leg looks like it's turned out, no, no, the tibia is turned out, then it might be bicep femoris. Or there is a, a discussion that the IT band could also be involved as well because of the attachment onto the, onto the Gerdes tubercle. So just bear that in mind if there is a, a rotation for just it might well be that we think it's bicep femoris because that is the only true external rotator of the tibia on the femur. But there has been a discussion where the IT band can also be involved in that position because it can control some rotation as well as end phase extension.